boys and girls, it's time for story time. So get really comfy. We're going to continue reading about God's underwater creations today in our big book of question, questions and answers about under the sea. We're going to be learning about life in the open ocean. Oh yeah, these are some of my favorite creatures. You ready? What is the difference between a dolphin and a porpoise? Do you know? Dolphins and porpoises are very closely related, but they are not exactly the same. A porpoise tends to be smaller and have shorter snouts than a dolphin. So look right here. Do you see how the dolphin has a longer snout? Porpoise is not quite as long but they look very similar, don't they? How do dolphins talk? Dolphins communicate by making noises that sounds like, sounds like clicks, chirps, and whistles. They can talk to each other from very far away because sound travels more easily and farther in water than it does in the air. Dolphins can also use sound to locate prey and move around obstacles. Whoa, that is very interesting, huh? I like to listen to dolphins chirp and talk to one, of the, one another. They're very playful and smart creatures. Why do some sharks have more than one row of teeth? Sharks need lots of teeth in case they lose some. Inside of a shark's mouth, extra rows of teeth are right behind the front row of teeth. When a tooth is lost, the one behind it moves in its place. Very cool. I wish that was true for humans as well. What are manta rays and stingrays? Rays are fish that belong to the same group as sharks. A manta ray can grow very big by filtering lots of plankton from the water. A stingray has a sharp barb on its tail, but a manta ray does not. Hmm, do you guys like those sea creatures? Tell your shoulder partner something that you learned about dolphins or sharks are manta rays and stingrays. And then we're going to watch a short little video clip about sharks and learn some more interesting, fun facts. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. Let me hook you up. Okay, listen carefully. A shark, what do you picture in your mind? Can you think of a big thing? I thought of the most famous animals in the ocean, but do you know what makes a shark a shark? Well, for one thing, all sharks are fish. That might not surprise you since they live and swim in the water, but sharks are a special kind of fish. One of the things that makes them different from other fish, like goldfish, is that sharks have a special skeleton. Our skeletons are made of bone, and so are the skeletons of most kinds of fish. But a shark skeleton isn't made of bone. It's made of cartilage, and you have cartilage in your body too. You can feel it right now. Touch the tip of your nose. Wiggle it around. How's it feel? What about your ear? Can you bend it? You sure can, because the tip of your nose and your ear aren't filled with bone. They're filled with cartilage. Cartilage is a lot lighter than bone, and it bends easily. So having a skeleton made of this stuff helps sharks swim farther and faster than if their skeletons were made of bone. Now let's look at another body part that sharks are famous for, their teeth. Have you ever lost a baby tooth and then an adult tooth grew in? Well, sharks lose their teeth all the time, throughout their entire lives, and they just keep growing new ones. How can they do that? You and I just have one row of teeth in our mouths, but sharks have a Lots of rows of teeth on the top and the bottom. So when a shark loses a tooth, another tooth that's right behind it can just move on up to take its place. Because they always have new teeth to replace the old ones, some sharks can lose thousands of teeth during their lives. Alright, the next cool thing about sharks, their skin. If you could rub the skin of a shark, you'd find that it would feel smooth if you ran your hand in one direction. But if you rubbed your hand the other way, it would feel rough, like a cat's tongue. That's because a shark's skin is covered in tough bony scales that actually look a little like tiny teeth. These little scales are stacked on top of each other like
like tiles on a roof. This helps sharks swim through the water quickly and quietly. So those are some of the things that all sharks have. But there are over 450 types of sharks in the world, and that means a lot of differences too. Take a look at this one. It's called a whale shark, and it's the biggest shark there is. In fact, it's the largest fish in the whole world. Whale sharks can grow to be as long as a school bus. But even though they're so big, they eat tiny plants and super small animals called plankton that float in the water. But not all sharks are as big as the whale shark. Some can also be tiny. Meet the dwarf lantern shark. It's so small that it could fit in my hand. This shark lives in the deep ocean where there's very little light, so it has big eyes to help see in the dark. Plus, it has a really neat feature. It has special organs on its belly, fins, and tail that actually glow. Scientists think this might help the lantern shark lure and prey for it to eat. Plus, when it's in shallower water where there's more light, these glowing lights can help it blend in to avoid predators. Finally, I'd like you to meet a very special shark. Say hello to the Greenland shark. This big shark spends most of its time swimming in very cold water, hanging out near the sea floor, looking for an easy snack. But scientists have recently discovered something amazing about these animals. Greenland sharks can live to be up to 400 years old. Of all the animals in the world with backbones known as vertebrates, Greenland sharks live the longest, at least that we know of. But scientists are still discovering new kinds of sharks all the time. So who knows what kinds of super sharks are still out there waiting to be found. What's your favorite animal? Do you want to learn more about it? Just ask a grown-up to help you and leave a comment below or send us an email to kids at thescishow.com. We're excited to hear from you. Oh, and we're also really excited because we're making some changes to the floor. So stay tuned and we'll share a few surprises with you in the upcoming weeks. Thanks. We'll see you next time here at the floor. Oh, I love learning about sharks. I can't believe that we have cartilage just like a shark does. Did you touch the tip of your nose? Does it bend and wiggle? Did you touch your earlobes too? No bones, just like a shark. That is really cool. And what about the largest shark ever? Whoa, a whale shark? As long as a school bus? Whoa, my goodness. And a shark that could fit in the palm of your hand? That's pretty cool. All right, boys and girls, we're going to go ahead and get out our printing paper now. Our printing paper looks like this. And it looks like a little boy is going on an airplane trip, huh? He's getting ready to board the trip. So what we're going to do is just write. We're going to read and write. So let's read our sentence first, and then we'll write. It says, Jeff will full white says I fly to C A Y says A J. Let's read that again. Jeff will fly to C. C J. Who will fly? That's right. Jeff will fly. And who is Jeff going to see? He's going to see his friend Jay. Great. Let's go to the bottom one. Ready? Let's read it together. Did Jeff like the ride? Did Jeff like the ride? I don't know. He hasn't even gotten on the plane yet, huh? So go ahead and do your very best printing. Make sure you're holding your pencil correctly, sitting up straight and tall. All of your letters are touching lines. After you're finished, you're going to get your little blue reader or your composition book out, and you're going to go ahead and complete your work. All right, great job, boys and girls. Love you.